Hello there, YouTubers. How you doing out there? Anybody know what this is? We're going to show you what old freaking Jeep is up to today. This is kind of a we. I don't know how to video this so it comes out right. Don't know any of that kind of stuff. I'm just going to kind of video. I'm going to do an oversight, then we're going to show you some things on how we're making applesauce. I'm not going to take you down there and show you me picking apples, but we picked apples. Uh, we picked a couple bushels yesterday and probably a couple bushels today or whatever one of these. This isn't quite a bushel, but um, we picked the apples and some of them are good. Some of them are not so good, but you pick them all and then you can kind of get out of them what you want. We do a first wash over here. Now these are an early transparent, so they're supposed to be real, they almost get yellowish. Some of them call them yellow transparents. That's an early apple, and these were uh, these are just right for the applesauce now. That's a good apple. There's nothing wrong with the spots. A lot of those spots are when they hit the ground. Um, you can see where this one hit the ground. Um, they kind of explode and get rotten. But you know, as as a kid back in the 50s, my grandfather property was bought in the middle of an apple orchard and they had these and every summer around in the hottest day of the year he was making apples and he always said you the the sweetest apples were the ones that were on the ground and we weren't allowed to put, pick them off the tree you had to pick them up off the ground his trees were a lot bigger but here we don't don't do that here we just kind of get anything we can get so that's what that is so basically they go from here into here. And this is just a kind of a pre-wash and uh, kind of the same thing we did, I don't know, I guess last maybe two years ago we did uh, a lot of apple cider. These really aren't good, I don't think, for anything except for making applesauce. Um, and I don't really, I, and it's it, the flavor of these is different than any other apple you've ever gotten into. The problem with a lot of the places you buy them at, they're going to be green when you get them, not the transparent color, and they taste bad then. They're just so bitter. So you put them in there and let them kind of drain down a little bit. Then you put them into basket two. That one I just don't feel like messing with. Some of them, if they're real bad, I'll chuck. It's all right if they got bad spots in it. Bad, bad spots are sweet. You know, this one here's, you know, I'll cut some of that stuff out. We're gonna, we're gonna put you through cutting. These are just a little bit green, so that means when you serve it, you gotta put a little bit of sugar in it, which is, that's all right. I did some last night that were like this color here, which is what you want, clear. They call them early transparent or um, what? Early transparent? Yellow. They, yellow transparent also, because they turn yellow. I did some, I, some of the batches are, you know, different ways. And I, I flavored it with some uh, fresh maple syrup. So then we get a basket of these. And we take them upstairs. Meow, meow. The cat's come to help. Hello, Boo. How are you? No, you can't go in. So this is kind of a, it's kind of a exercise program, up and down the steps a little bit. We just had some friends over watching us make some and getting some applesauce. We've already made um, two gallons today. space you can see over here all the apple sauces we make and we'll show you doing that in about a minute then they go into here but I have some in here right now so and as all I do is is quarter them which we'll show that again in a minute um, this is kind of a step by step but now we're going to take some out of the the cooked ones out I've already started that it's like watching paint dry guys so that's what they look like and 
the cooking time is whatever you feel like cooking them. The, the um, softer you make them, the smoother the applesauce is. I don't know if you can see that drain it down there. Drain it down so you, you don't have water for applesauce. You want applesauce, you don't want apple juice. And then, it, then they go into there. The problem is we're a little bit out of order here. I must just set this over here for now. Then I just take and put another whole batch in. And I like to fill it up a little bit over that. You can see some of the apples are a little goofy, but they'll be just fine. They'll cook up just fine like that. And then I put it on, I don't put it all the way on high, I put it on medium high. Um, what happens is the water that's in there gets thicker and thicker and thicker. So you can only boil about four batches reusing the water or it'll burn the bottom of the pan and it'll give your applesauce a funny flavor. So now we got these. We can't take this downstairs to here because we haven't finished that bowl. We have, we have a we have a problem <laughs> we got it. so I'll, I'll i'll photograph her making that um this is how we how we do it well i knew it was going to kind of be out of order and goofy and all that kind of stuff just i can hold this oops we had a blow out there You're not holding something. i'm holding the strainer i'm not holding the hold it all I can't hold it all. She does better when I'm not helping her. That's that's the same way as at the sawmill. If you got a new guy, they don't know the program, it ends up making a mess because it gets on the little whatever grates there. But we're not we're not a certified kitchen. That that's a finger licking good spot. We need this pan downstairs is what the problem is. And uh, you want me to hold it or not? Mm -hmm. She's got it. She's done it before. We made four and a half gallons last night. We've already made two gallons today. This isn't a uh, restaurant kitchen. Might be cleaner if it's not. <laughs> and she squeezed a little bit of the air out. Um, you can kind of do it any way you want. We're just showing you what we do. There's a million different ways of doing this stuff. I looked on YouTube to see what was going on on there to begin with, and it was just kind of. I don't know. I didn't see anybody making it with a. Squeeze I'm sure there are some. I probably just didn't hit it up. It's like when you hit for sawmills, probably takes a few before you get every sawmill. This container here holds three quarts if you fill it right up to the rim. So we don't a batch fills it up there. That's that's why we do this is this is a, a batch here. And then we'll go downstairs and We'll put you on the tripod down there so she can come up and fix everything up here that I messed up. We have all of our normal square freezer containers all filled up. Half fill bag, half a bag. Anyhow, we need that. I can. All right. Now we're trying to get everything back downstairs. <laughs> this is still over here cooking. It takes takes about as long as it takes to squeeze all these out. All right. And they're hot. They were boiled, so they're hot. 
Old man going down steps. Can you see me putting it in the bucket here? Or do you need to get in behind? Well, I'll push it this way here. And that's why we do about that much at a time. This goes over here. This goes up here. If you've never seen one of these squeezes work, they work, <coughs> work pretty good. I'm kind of pushing stuff down. If you go too fast, it comes over the back. That's why we got the paper towels down there. <coughs> it, it takes, uh, ooh. See, then I gotta start getting the stuff from the, from the front here. You gotta be able to, what's that, walk and chew gum at the same time? Old people have a hard time at that. Or this old people, this old person does. Depending on how fast you crank it, it's how fast it's going to come out. And see all those skins there are coming out there. All the nastiness comes out there. If we miss a seed, it comes out there. Shot from the top so you can see what the mess is. Can you get a shot of the in the you have to come around back here? Wait a second, I'll I'll make it go to <laughs> probably steam up the camera. And you know, as for the dark spots, if you want real white applesauce. You could cut out all those, every one of those little bruises. You can sit there and spend all day long cutting those out. Um, but as my wife said, Mrs. Freaking Jeep, you gonna put cinnamon in it anyway. It's gonna turn it. It's gonna turn a color anyway. So she's right. Now it's important when you're making applesauce that you have a good helper. You see the helper I got? There's not a better helper than. Well, wife is a better helper, but uh, next to that, you're not going to get a better helper than the Eddie. If nothing else, he's giving me encouragement. Oh. Another reason we make the batch about the size we make the batch, it just, the system works pretty good because you can't get a bigger pan under this unless you, you you could hang it over the sink, but we can't hook it on. Another reason we do it down here is we got another sink over here to wash things up. What are they selling on the phone? We will let that phone ring on by. How do they know we're making a video? And then you just finish it. There's another little secret I got at the end, which we're not going to get at the end because we're doing another few. If you take a wad of that and put it in there, it'll squeeze the last. You get quite a bit more out because that'll be just kind of like a pusher, like a wadding that'll clean it out. So you'll, you'll get a lot more if you put, uh, this, is, this is empty up here now, but if I was to take a wad of that and put that, put that through there, I mean there's a little bit in here, but not really to speak of. And you can sit there and run it till you're arm wears off but if you put a wad of that in there it'll act like a, a wadding or something there's probably a right name for it but I don't know what it is and there's the batch see that's more than a half a gallon can't see a spot in it then that goes up goes back up the top we'll go back up the top she can show you me cutting for a while and that's still too hot to hold on to you think you can grab that pan there? There's a cat one's in the back door.
Now we'll check how these are cooking. I smell oh. burn. burn. Yeah, that's the stuff that came over there. Because this isn't even boiling yet. Mm. Well, you, you push them down. See, there's a little green. You want to get them down in there so they uh, get soft. And they're not quite ready. They got another few minutes, so what you do in that time, you go back to slicing apples. And I, I don't do this in any particular way. Now, that's about what I do. If you Usually they got a little furry part down the bottom. If you get that in there, you'll get black spots in your applesauce. That's all I know. That's about it. You can put anything else. You can take where's like this one here, it doesn't look good. You can spend, like I said, all day long cutting bad spots out of them. And you can cut, you can cut, you know, that out if you want, but it, it, it takes a lot of time. The big piece here, because it cut more even, I, I always just, and that's all I do, the apples. Sometimes in the past, I've just quartered them straight through the center and put that in there. That squeezo will take that out of there if you want. Um, but I don't really care. Um, I'm looking for the ripest ones. Here's, here's a good, nice ripe one. Now you can see all the bad spots in it or dark spots in it. They don't hurt a thing. They just make your applesauce brown. That's it. There's, there's the fuzzy little part. It's just the end of the flower. Now, these apples here aren't the prettiest looking apples. You can never sell them on the on the street or wherever you sell apples at but I don't hardly spray them at all so all I do is spray them right at blossom drop after the blossoms fall off so there's no bees that get hurt I don't want to spray them you're, you're supposed to I think spray them before that um, but I don't spray them then and I'll spray them maybe once again or twice again depending on the weather conditions see there's that little that little piece I just don't like that in there Um, where was I? So these these weren't sprayed hardly at all. That's why there's so much. This is well. That's where it fell off a tree and hit on another stamp. That that's a bug bite. These might be actually bug bites in there. I don't know, but um, they seem to be pretty worm free, uh, which is unusual for my apples. And like I said, you can cut those you can cut those spots out and have have a uh, whiter. Um, that one's really green. I have to save some of these really green ones for another batch. And we do four batches at a time, which makes two gallons. See, here's one that, you know, most people take an apple like that and throw away. But you can get some a lot of good uh, apple out of it. And... You can cut what you want. You can push the seeds out. That that machine downstairs will take those seeds right out. That machine that I got down there is called a squeeze strainer. If I didn't say it in the beginning, got that as a wedding gift back in 1983. So it's been around here and made a lot of applesauce. And you, I think we've probably made tomato sauce with it too. There's an animal, a bug bite. The Japanese beetles are real bad this year. So, uh, let's see. How are we doing on, how does that, our apples there look? They're probably just about, not quite, just about. We got to get that other pan. We got to take a break from this and get the other pan ready. That's fine. I want to go to 30. If you don't go to 30, it's just something about that they're, their thing. Now these are actually, they're ready. So what we'll do, just push those down. I'll turn the heat off because normally we're not photographing and we'd be, we'd be through this. But now I got to take the camera and she's got to do the applesauce in the thing because we need that pan again. And we got a system down that it's the timing on it is really pretty good. Where we go from here to here to here to here, except for when you're, except for when you're photographing. Oh, 
Oh, I was supposed to have my hat on too, so they wouldn't get me for a hat. <laughs> oh! <coughs> ah, a little germ. Cough does good. We'll take flavor any way we can get it here. Oh, Smells like, um, what, apple orchard in here? It's easier when you're putting it in those little square things. This is kind of awkward, but when you give it away, these things work real good. You lay them down like this over here, and we'll lay them like that in the freezer. We let them cool down to um, just about room temperature, and then we'll lay them on cookie sheets in the freezer. And when you lay them in the cookie sheets on the freezer, they freeze. You can set them up like records in the in the freezer. We got the big freezer that we got full of ice right now. You want me to pull this, you can put some here. And this is actually 726, which is about the same time we make it every year. These apples start getting ripe depending on the weather and in the first part of July um, and these are maybe well it's like everything you know some wood seasons faster than the other well some apples ripen faster than the others and you really can't can't figure out why one does one than the other I have some wood oak, white oak boards in my big white truck all came from the same tree all preserved the same way and two of them rotted out and the rest have not rotted out how do you figure now most of the time instead of being with a camera I'll be getting these ready for the next batch and before I start the four batch four to five batch method I have two of these pans ready to go so if something if I get sidetracked I can go a different direction um, which sidetrack means I'm making a video now down to the last drop you thought you guys had seen paint dry before There, she's trying to get a little bit of the air out. Okay, now we're going to switch cameras again. We're going to go make another batch while you're here. Put that over as close as you can get. And here comes my cameraman. bad boys are hot too so you got to be kind of careful that's drain pretty good set that over here that's really hot I don't know how hot how much heat that counter can hold then you put another batch in I knew Eddie would help his nose pushed against that pile. That might be a little bit more than normal. And now we'll go down and squeeze up one more thing so you can see him. We'll turn that on eh, about medium high. Now we'll go down and can you bring that pan, that one? Now for the exercise program again, guys. Raining yesterday, kind of raining today, kind of misting on and off. It's wet out there. Not heavy rain or anything like that. Oh, I forgot to. I was supposed to put this down in here. This goes over here. So when I come down, I can just put them straight in here. I 
I think we got a full one there near. And there we do it again. Not too many people know about these early transparent apples. It's, uh, like I said, I've been doing this since probably the late 50s. Back then we had a, uh, it, was a it was a different style thing. It was, a, it was like a cone, it was like a cone shape and it had three legs and you put it around, you had to go like that and go around. And um, when the apples came in at my grandfather's house, all the, everybody went there to make applesauce and that's what you did all day long as the kids were out picking up apples all the parents were in there doing whatever they wanted to do to peel those apples and that kind of stuff that machine was nowhere near what this one would do it's just some things have gotten better how many of you people Remember those old applesauce makers or juicers or I, I don't know exactly what do you think they called those things strainers The ones that set on three legs Colander colander. Maybe that's what it is Who out there in YouTube land has made applesauce? I see a lot of people Peeling them and peeling them and peeling them and I guess you could peel them if you want them I'm using the machine to peel them. See them all coming out here? So that's how we make applesauce. And it, it's like this. Um, now if you want to see, we made apple cider a couple years ago. and did a video on that, so that's, that's a couple years old. Um, and there, there's there's uh, 800 and some videos on the channel, so you're liable to see anything if you get into the uh, past videos. If you, um, and you can zoom through them. This thing here, you might want to just you can go down there and hit that gear thing somehow and go to double speed and go through this whole video. That's kind of what I recommend. I would. I would uh, zoom this up. I'm watching how, how much it's building up in the back. Um, if I knew how to edit, I would zoom through half of this stuff, and then you would have also got me picking up apples because it would have started with it starts here at picking up apples, but it didn't. Um, What's the time on it? 28. Okay. Well, if you like what you're watching, do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe. And um, if you want to see more of what's going on, I guess you got to hit that little bell icon. That's what I just learned. And that'll give you notifications when I got another video coming out. This one's actually going to come out. I have a couple more wood splitting ones coming out that by the time you see this you'll have seen them or maybe I'll put maybe I'll put this one on tonight to, to give you a break from wood splitting I think I'll do that there will be a couple wood splittings because the wood splitter had a couple had a couple gul gulps I think that's about it on this one where are we at now it's about ready to run out the mm -hmm. camera automatically runs out of 30s most of you guys know that so we're there here's here's another batch now this one's here is more than a half a gallon so anyway, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to always have a good friend helping you, whether it's on this side of the camera or that side of the camera. Happy applesauce making, over and out.